uh, I want to thank uh, the organizers for inviting me to uh, attend this uh, summit. Um, I'm from PSIT in Bangalore, and uh, uh, I'm probably unique here in the sense of I'm a hardware person and uh, primarily interested in reconfigurable hardware. That means hardware that changes dynamically, which does include uh, interconnection networks as part of its reconfigurable nature. So I'll try to look at this from that perspective. And uh, I was uh, stimulated and uh, <coughs> very excited by the thought talks given by Dr. Kohli and uh, Dr. Prasad Raghavan, Prabhakar Raghavan. Uh, and in particular, the, uh, I was uh, interested in understanding that there's a shortage of microelectronics uh, design engineers in India. So, um, when we think of uh, social networks, uh, we uh, also think of the world. Okay. And the world is sometimes small. The world is sometimes flat. The world is, according to some people, is not all that flat, but it's not all that round. <coughs> and the world is six clicks away and so on. <coughs> so this, I uh, wanted to focus a little bit on this uh, six degrees of separation a little bit. Uh, the, uh, the idea that uh, this is a myth and why people uh, follow it uh, comes from the fact that myth is uh, complete, certain, and one can be confident about it, and that's what human beings really want to get out of anything. Okay. So, and it has been called by uh, Judith Kleinfield as the intellectual furniture of educated people. Uh, so there are conjectures out there. Uh, but it's generally believed that uh, this holds uh, as a qualitative measure, for the time being at least. Uh, and why do people desire to live in this small world is because of reasons of security. They feel comfortable that the world is not completely out of control. Okay? And also some believe that uh, some faith that you will run into a person that you have met uh, some time ago. And uh, most of this does not take into account uh, a factor called coincidence that uh, is neither mathematically tractable nor is it uh, intuitive to many of us. Okay. Um, so the world is flat again, comes from the notion that, from the notion of empowering more and more people to plug in, play, connect, collaborate uh, much faster than we used to do before. So the flattening is not so much uh, in terms of equal income or measures like that. It is actually uh, a measure of <coughs> getting more uh, power into the hands of the common man. Okay. So that this is a phenomenon where uh, people are able to reach farther, faster, cheaper, and therefore you will see that uh, the rate at which we are discovering things is getting higher and higher. But if nature is uh, bottomless, then we will continue to explore this at an incredibly fast pace but there will still be approximations to the real world. So having said all of that, there is uh, a notion that I wanted to introduce that is already there. Uh, there's a book, and this talks about the monument, monumental theory of everything. That's uh, one theory that uh, encompasses all the laws of uh, nature put together in such a way that you can explain what was, uh, what is and what will be, 
uh, everything has a right place <coughs> and all things are in right places and there, there is no need for progress because there shall not be any progress <coughs> so uh, finally uh, just a little bit about web 2 that we're going to discuss uh, later in great detail um, the major aspects that were discussed again by Dr. <coughs> Raghavan uh, talk really about the, the ability of the community to work together and ultimately the more the users that get involved the rich, richer the data gets so uh, we talked about uh, Flickr and so on uh, so the paradigm change from the mp3.com to Napster and so on are indicative of Web 2.0. Uh, in this, uh, for me, uh, mm, when the world becomes smaller, uh, the security and trust <coughs> becomes a larger issue. I really don't know if I want to be that far, away, uh, that close. To, uh, to anybody in the world. Uh, yes, if it's a well-known, well-connected societal group, then that's fine. But to be six uh, degrees away from, of separation away from somebody I don't know uh, can pose uh, difficult problems and, uh, and these are uh, complex problems that need uh, a lot more speed uh, when done in software. So my hope is that I'll get something back out of this uh, in a hardware sense, and, uh, and that is about the end of my talk. <laughs>